Hey guys, my hair just fell out. I had it pinned back and right when I pressed record, it went boom forward. So, um, yay for that, but I'm not going to fix it yet because the kids are content. They're actually outside running around being, being wild boys. Um, and on that note, somebody asked last week if I would talk about how I feel about introducing people that I'm dating to the kids. So I figured it would be a good video to talk about because it's something that I actually think a lot about. Um, now... I am not in a rush. Deacon! <laughs> it's my favorite when you call them out for doing something and they have no idea where your voice came from. <laughs> it's like you're like this almighty power. That just... <laughs> this is my mom's can get away with eyes in the back of their head. Um, Alright, focus. So it's something that I think a lot about because it's important. I don't want a ton of men coming in and out of the boys' lives. At the same time, though, I don't want to get in a, a deeper, serious relationship and then have issues with, you know, the kids either liking the person I'm dating or vice versa or me with their kids, their kids with me, that type of thing. So it's kind of, I mean, it's it goes both ways. I mean, you can introduce early and know if that's going to be, you know, a problem early on or you can you know, introduce later. And I mean, of course, things can definitely change and you can work on things and whatnot. But um, there's there's pros and cons to each doing it either way. So for me personally, um, my kids are really young and they're four and a half and two. So fortunately for me, I have a little bit of an advantage because there are a lot of, I don't want to say like a lot of men in my life, like not, not like that. They're, um, we're very social. So they're exposed to a lot of different men, um, whether they be friends or friends of friends, husbands, boyfriends, <laughs> I had to clear off some space, but there's just a lot of different, you know, they're just exposed to a lot of different people. We're pretty social. So, um, it would be easy for me to have somebody around them and have them not really even, you know, realize what's going on. So, um, I've, I've got a few benefits there. Now I'm not going to introduce them to everybody I meet. Now, actually, I do kind of have a funny story. There was this this one guy that I met, and we went on our first date, and the next day, I was walking out of the grocery store with the kids, and he was walking in, and it was just, it was the weirdest thing ever, and it was like, whoa, hey, <laughs> hi, like, it was, I don't know, it was just, it was interesting. It's something that you don't expect. Um, I didn't expect, and it was, it was definitely interesting. So, he met my kids day two. <laughs> It was actually kind of funny because Drake, we'd gone to um, Costco and we'd gone to Walmart. And we were at a local grocery store kind of near our house. And Drake had pizza from Costco all over his shirt. And then he had the marker that I was using to check off my list all over his face. He looked like like a little tribal boy. Like he had marks all over his face. It was, it was a nice introduction. So um, there are people though, I mean, I don't know. I think it's just definitely going to depend on on the person and kind of how things are going. So for me, I think my ideal, this is, this would be like my ideal. If I'm seeing somebody for maybe like about you know, a month and a half, that time frame, maybe running into each other, rather it be, you know, like at a park or a bounce house, that type of thing. That would be my ideal. And just to see like, hey, can I tolerate, you know, and, and hopefully maybe if, if they have kids, if they don't have kids, fine. But if they have kids, great. Um, you know, see, see if like they can handle the way that I parent or me handle the way that they parent and maybe see if the kids kind of are interested in one another. Um, and just, just that kind of thing. You know what I mean? So that would be my ideal. And of course that's not going to last forever. That would just be like today. Like if, if that were the situation today, that's what I think I would be up for. Um, Maybe not even necessarily like, hey, this is so-and-so, um, but, you know, you know what I'm trying to say? My kids are naive. They're young, <laughs> so I, I have that as an advantage. So, anyways, Drake, you be careful. This is fun. I'm going to sit in here and do this more often. Oh, I think, I think Deacon might have busted me. He just came inside, so, all right. I'm going to quit rambling, but that's kind of my take. I don't think I would wait like a year or, or something like that. Um, if they were older and understood dating and that type of thing, then, um, oh. are you okay? Be careful. 
They seriously, I talk to them. They're going to look around like, what? <laughs> oh, I love messes. See what I mean? Like, I can get away with a lot. Gagey. Gagey. Quit scratching. He's shaking the whole bed. I feel like there was something else that I wanted to touch on. But I guess I didn't. Um, anyways, all right, that's it. I'm going to go outside and enjoy this gorgeous day with my boys. Um, brush some dogs. They all need to be good brushing. So, all right, guys, if you have any other questions about this topic, I'd be happy to answer them. Just, uh, leave your questions below. I'll talk to you later. Bye.